have you guys played Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Yeah. No. Okay, Modern Warfare 2 is one of the best Call of Duties, right? And so it had just come out. It was like, I don't know what year it was. It was like 2012. My global yeah. teacher yeah. Uh, comes into the room and he goes, who's played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? And I'm... 15 and out of control so I'm like oh my god it's the best and I start freaking out and I'm like oh you can do the crossbow thing and you can kill the guys and oh my KD is so high man blah, blah, blah. my teacher goes cool I just got a call um, one of my former students just died in Afghanistan and for the next 20 minutes he like laid into me <laughs> he basically was like hey like this is wrong it's glorifying violence I have a strong belief that like this is like this is indoctrination based on like the US government trying to prepare you and condition you to join the military and it's propaganda and it's wrong and you should feel bad about it oh, <laughs> that's a bad thing that that's your teacher bad, did okay, all me, those points he made are great points yeah that but that's a bad okay, way to no, do he it. Didn't, it he didn't, didn't need to he be didn't explicately he didn't explicitly I'm sure he didn't end it, it was, you should feel bad. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Well, he's right. And I mean, it, it <laughs> used to be yeah. way more discreet, but now, like, the U.S. Army and Navy have their own esports teams. I was going to say, and like, maybe 10 years ago, the Army mm. released a first person shooter that was specifically for recruitment purposes. Like, they. They've always used stuff like this for recruitment. So, like, he's dead on, and it for sure glorifies violence. And yes. I say that as a consumer of video games like that. Yeah. You know, I, like, yeah. I think the teacher might, next time they give that lecture, they might have been like, fuck, I didn't know no one would be so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I, really or like, box I didn't realize it would only be one kid. <laughs> and yeah. that's just such a deep conversation, too, on, like, the link between video games and then actual violence. And I am not... I'm not sold that exists. I am not, well, I'm not part, I don't, that's not what I think. But right. I, I do think at a certain point, some of these military shooters are like a little bit propaganda on that like propaganda yeah. it side. Does, it might normalize violence, but I don't think it makes people violent. No, <laughs> no certainly not. I yeah. don't think so. I, I do, I, oops, I'm I think it can play a role, right? Yeah. Like I think if, if there's other stuff going on and this is like you're, like you consume a ton of this media, right? I think it could probably be play a role but there's no way like, in and keep, of itself that's it the game's right. so compelling you're probably playing that game instead of committing violence <laughs> like well tell us to sign up for the army when you have yeah. more video game to play I mean I know a ton of people that blow off steam by going and playing video games like that and they've never done a violent thing in their lives I mean to actually create a, a data validated narrative of this is causal and this is why I mean that's such a difficult yeah. thing but to do but there are certain that, things like, that, and I feel bad for teachers there's a lot of things like school violence shootings stuff like that like things yeah, that you have crazy. to actually kind of work in in a way that that doesn't terrify that isn't too political. There's certain topics yeah. are like, I don't want you to shoot me in my at my place of work. Right. It's a political opinion. <laughs> like that. That's out there, yeah. Also, yeah. I concur. I'd prefer if no one shot me in my office. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or please, anywhere. Yeah. Please, yeah. Let's, yeah. Please let's make refrain. that a policy. Yeah. Well, let's make I that mean, a modern estate planning. As a former teacher, um, I know that even in the best of times, teaching can be very stressful. And so right now with the pandemic, we want to make sure that all the teachers who listen to us have access to the estate planning documents that they need to feel safe. And so uh, we're going to work with you to find a price point that works for you. Um, we are trying to help as many teachers as possible, especially in the Atlanta area. And so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about wills, trusts, or estate planning, post a comment. We would love to help you. Um, we don't just offer wills and trusts, though. We offer a lot of other stuff. James, you want to talk about it? Yeah, like Noah says, it's more than just wills. We also do things like advanced health care directives, HIPAA waivers for your loved ones, and, and other things that you can do as far as power of attorney to make sure that if something does happen, um, people are going to be able to help you out. So if you're not sure if it's something that we can help you with, give us a call or reach out. Uh, we really want to help and we'll do our best to do what we can. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know any teachers that you think could benefit from this, uh, post their, tag them in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.